Hello and welcome! Today we're going to have a look at some of the rarest ships you'll find in Star Citizen to date. The order of this list is debatable, but this is my top 7 that I feel stand out as the rares in the game. Some ships were time or event limited, some were quantity limited, and some require amounts of money that prevent them from being attained by the community in general. I'll do my best to give you the details and background on how each of these came to be and how they could be attained. If you think they should be ordered in a different way or have another ship you feel should be added, please let us know in the comments below. Coming in at number 7, we have the Aegis Saber Raven. The Saber Raven is a nimble, single-seat interdiction ship from Aegis Dynamics. Unlike its bigger sister, the Saber, this ship is not a superiority fighter, but rather serves as a stealthy infiltrator with data storage capabilities for intelligence missions. It comes equipped with two size 3 fixed coiler laser cannons, as well as two EMP pods housed within the missile racks. The Raven was a limited time offer that was announced during the 2017 SITCON event, and was only available through a promotional campaign in collaboration with Intel. Anyone who purchased an Intel Optane 900P solid state drive received a redeemable code within the box for a Saber Raven with one month insurance and a copy of Star Citizen. During the 2017 SITCON event, CIG gifted Intel 900P drives containing a Saber Raven code to members of the audience. The ship is not extremely rare to see in the verse, but its availability is rather limited given its tie to a physical purchase of a product that was only available during a certain period in history. The Saber Raven package cannot be gifted or exchanged after the code is redeemed, but you could give the code to a friend, which is how I got mine. Coming in at number 6, we have the Consolidated Outland Mustang Omega. The Mustang Omega was again a promotional package similar to the Octane and Raven. In 2016, anyone who purchased an AMD Radeon R9 or R8 series graphics card received a one-time use voucher with a code for a Mustang Omega. It came with two months insurance, as well as a Star Citizen game package and Squadron 42. It had no melt value and at the time the codes could be found on the grey market for about $35. It was almost identical to the current Mustang Gamma, except it had a custom red paint job and was also described as having a ramped up fuel intake for faster recycling of the ship's boost system. Thank you to the Nubifier for loaning me this footage of the Mustang Omega, I have no idea how he got lifetime insurance on his, but be sure to ask him in Discord if you want to find out. Sorry noob. At number 5 we have the Anvil Aerospace F8C Lightning and F8C Lightning Executive Edition. These two are in the same category as they both require specific pledge amounts to unlock. The F8C is unlocked at the Wing Commander Concierge level of 10,000 US dollars and the F8C Executive is unlocked at the Praetorian Concierge level of 15,000 US dollars. These are not the F8A military variant but rather the civilian variant and is not currently flyable. In the case of the F8C, it's likely this will be removed from the rare list at a future point. It was stated you would be able to unlock its purchase in Star Citizen once you completed Squadron 42. This was information given by Chris Roberts during a Reverse the Reverse episode in January of 2018. Coming in at number 4, we have the beautiful Origin Jumpworks 600i Explore Executive Edition. This variant of the 600i comes with a wonderful black finish and exquisite gold detailed trimmed skin. This again is another pledge ship and anyone wishing to secure a 600i Executive Edition will need to attain Legatus status by pledging a mere 25,000 US dollars. Are you kidding me? Martha, get the wallet! Get the wallet, Martha! Currently the internals are exactly the same as the regular 600i Explorer variant, but this ship is more of a status symbol than anything by Space Whale backers. CIG did announce an upcoming gold standard total rework for the 600i ships, so it will be interesting to see if the Executive Edition gets its own touches internally when this happens aside from just a cosmetic skin difference. Coming in at number 3 is my personal favorite, the Drake Dragonfly Star Kitten Edition. The Star Kitten comes in a punchy pink and has, well, a kitten on it. It's one of the most sought after vehicles in the game and I know at least one couple who would pay almost anything if CIG would only let them buy one. Whee! The star kitten on the front of the hover bike is Sally, who is part of Star Citizen lore. Sally was created by in-lore animator Gennady Kuzo and is part of an animated series that first premiered in 2932 and immediately warmed the hearts of citizens of all ages. To celebrate Sally's 15th birthday, her image was licensed to be on a special edition UEE t-shirt and Drake Dragonfly. The Star Kitten is rare because it was a limited time contest which was rather hard for most people to participate in. In 2017, there was a pre-Gamescom 
promotion run by CIG between April 20th and August 8th. Several rewards were offered for people who could get a certain amount of referrals to the game using their referral code. The first person with 2,942 lifetime referrals at the end of the contest won a free trip to Gamescom. The runner-up received an Idris M frigate. Anyone who earned 10 referral points during the window of the contest would receive a star kitten dragonfly. And one referral would get you a Sally Kitten t-shirt in game. Needless to say, with everybody competing for referrals, it was tough for most people to get 10, so this vehicle is rather limited and I doubt we'll see it available again. Coming in at number 2, we have the Vanduul Scythe, which for the longest time was in fact the rarest ship in the game. At the very end of the Kickstarter in 2013, there were 501 sold as a limited availability run. There is a typo in the original communique that says 300 were for sale from a stolen Vandal capital ship, but the final tally sold was 501. These are not the Asperia versions like the Glaive or Blade, but rather captured Vandal ships which have been retrofitted for human use. They came with lifetime insurance, and fetch a hefty price on the grey market. Currently backers at a tier 2 subscription level have access to fly one of these, but it's not theirs to keep. The only other way this ship can be attained to my knowledge is through purchasing a Legatus pack, which at the time of this video in 2022 is 40,000 US dollars. Players may still be able to attain these in game when it goes live by stealing them from the enemy, but Chris Roberts has been quoted as saying they would not be insurable and I suspect it may be difficult to fly them without retrofitting them for human use. All speculation at best and I wish I owned one. Coming in at number one is probably the most sought after ship in Star Citizen, the Anvil Aerospace F7A Hornet Mark. Two. There is only one person that I know who legitimately owns one of these ships and has the receipts to prove it. Now some of you may think I'm talking about the cosmetic Mark 1 fuselage update kit sold back in 2013 during the veteran sale, but I am in fact talking about the actual F7A Mark II ship proper. First a bit of history. The F7A Mark 1 is the military variant of the Hornet that was in the Star Citizen Kickstarter video back in 2012. These are a hero ship in Squadron 42 and only meant to be flown by the military. The F7As are more powerful than their civilian counterparts in general because all of their hardpoints are one size larger. On August 11, 2016, Chris Smith was on the Around the Verse ship shape where he showed the new Mark II variant they were working on for the Hornet series and talked us through a lot of the rework being done to update the F7A for Squadron 42. And the community salivated excitedly and was promised a chance to fly one when Squadron 42 came out soon. In 2017, CIG offered an F7A as a prize during a live stream. There is speculation that this was supposed to be an F7C and F7A was misspoken, but in either case the F7A prize was honored. Everyone basically forgot about this for a few years as there weren't even NPC flown F7As in the verse. There were also a limited number of people in the live stream, so it may not have been common knowledge that this had actually transpired. I believe we first started seeing NPC flown F7As during the 2020 IAE event that brought the Javelin into the game. There were reports of both versions popping up along with F8As and they were even being stolen by players, including yours truly, to go for joy rides in. CIG eventually introduced measures to prevent them from being stolen by players in the future. In May of 2021, a community member reached out to the Reddit community for help with an issue council report they had logged stating they could no longer access the F7A they owned in the soon-to-be-disabled personal hangars. The fix that CIG had implemented to prevent people from stealing the NPC versions had in fact locked them out of their ship as well. Evidence of the ship ownership to doubtful backers was provided by the way of screenshots in the issue council report. And we can see that the package indeed says F7A and does not specify Mark 1 or Mark 2. The in-game hangar screenshot also clearly shows the ship to be the elusive Mark 2 that is the apple of everyone's eye. In August of that year, some friends of mine also confirmed seeing the individual and arena commander with the ship and there are reports of other players given a chance to try the ship by that individual. To my knowledge, this is the only real F7A that has ever been put in the hands of a player permanently and does not involve stealing one from an NPC. Having flown a stolen one, I can tell you it's a blast and I really hope we all get a chance to have one someday, but I have my doubts. Given there is currently only one owner that I'm aware of, this makes it the rarest ship in the game and the owner one extremely lucky citizen. And that's it. That's my top 7 list of the most rare ships in Star Citizen currently. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and subscribe and feel free to join the Discord community. Let us know in the comments below what your favorite rare Star Citizen ship or other item is. And as always, thanks for watching.